you know, since uh, since I got here, just never really kind of worked out. You know, they kind of had some uh, prior commitments, and uh, but now we're uh, glad. I think it's an exciting one for for the state of Tennessee. Obviously, got two uh, former NBA players that's coaching in college now and having an opportunity to com compete against each other. Um, I watched the far how you know, Penny's built that program into an NCAA tournament team um, last year. Uh, so we feel like they're a great team to have on uh, on our schedule, you know, hopefully uh, on our resume. But but, but just uh, a lot of excitement to start the season for the first game. Is that going to be a series? Uh, yeah, I think we go back there next year. Um, so hopefully, I mean, we were talking about doing something a little more creative, um, like a you know this season tournament with you know, some former pros. Talked with reached out to Juwan and. Patrick Ewan, I thought that would be kind of a cool thing to do. You know, didn't, you know, didn't get a lot of traction, but it's something that we could revisit. But hopefully, uh, this is something that uh, generates some excitement uh, from both sides of the state, and we can continue to do so. On that note, you know, what is it like for you watching Penny, also, you know, obviously former pro, kind of navigate that transition to college coach at the same time, and, and what is your relationship with him like? Well, we don't have a, uh, you know, we very cordial when we see each other in the same way that we were when we were players. I don't have a, you know, a lot of relationship you know, with the other side and you know, being in the fraternity of coaching. But you know, again, we, we deal with a lot of you know, the similar things. So we're, you know, I think when there's a lot of, I don't know, bias or whatever, I think when there was kind of a, a changing of the guard from the old school coaches that have been around for a long time, whether it was the Roy Williams and, uh, you know, Mike Krzyzewski and those type, and it's now uh, a little bit of a new guard, and it's, and it's, and it's including some some former NBA players. Um, you know, there's been some. There's always going to be some bias about different things like that, but I think we've uh, come in and shown that you know, basketball is basketball. If you know the game, and you can um, can teach, and, and you uh, have a love for for teaching and a love for spending a lot of time with young people, then um, you can you can have success with it. And, and I think we're We'll continue to, to prove ourselves as we go forward, but it's, uh, I think, done a pretty good job so far of, of elevating our teams in the time that, that we've been you know, in the college game. What were your thoughts about the, uh, the second scrimmage? Uh, it was a secret scrimmage. And, uh, you know, we, we played well in, um, in both scrimmages. We did some things that we can get better at. Um, obviously, we did some things well. So you know, we're just going to continue to try to improve and nowhere near where we're going to be probably at, you know, by Christmas or hopefully as we get into SEC play, but we're doing some good things on both ends. How do you feel like you guys match up against Memphis? What are the challenges of playing uh, I mean, yeah, I think they, they've been, in the past I've seen them, they're getting out and they, they really pressure and they deny and do a, you know, uh, even some full court press, uh, but haven't really locked into them. You know, yeah, we're locking to them over the next couple of days really kind of set a, uh, our plan of uh, how we want to try to attack them offensively and defensively. But you know, we, and we know that they've been able to get a lot of talent uh, there over the last couple of years. Obviously, they've had some, some, some kids exit, so I'm pretty sure, like, like everybody, they're trying to onboard it, some, some young guys and some new guys that maybe come in from the transfer portal. But I, I think we're, but we're in the same place right now. It's so, so new and so fresh. I'm pretty sure they're going to be a lot better as the season goes on, and we hope it will be a lot better as the season goes on uh, than we are probably in the very first game of the season. Seems like you guys have been pretty healthy. Is everyone good to go for this one? Yeah, we've, uh, I think for the most part, everybody had guys that had a little bug that's been going around. Um, had a few guys in and out. Uh, Paul Lewis got hit in practice last week, and he was in concussion protocol. Um, so he's still... He was able to go to class and said he's feeling better, but he still has a few more days to work out of, pro, you know, out of protocol. So I'm not sure how available he'll be for the first game, but uh, hopefully he, you know, he gets back. He's, he's been doing some good things for us. He's been, in, been improving since he's been here. So hopefully um, it's not too much of a setback. Liam had a little bit of a the bug. Um, Adrian Samuels, one of our walk-ons, he, he had a bug. Uh, I think Ezra had it for a little while. So it's just, just something that we got to watch. Kind of, kind of flu-like symptoms, hope, you know. Nothing, nothing serious, no COVID, anything like that. Just kind of, kind of, a, you know, as the weather's changing, guys get, getting a little, little bugs and things like that. If you're other freshmen, how ready are they to play? How much do we see them against Memphis? 
I, I don't think. I mean, I think they are ready to play. I don't know if we need them to play as much as we you know, probably had had needed for a freshman to play uh, early on. But they really, again, they've been doing some good things. But they've been playing behind some guys that have proven themselves in the SEC and have done well. Probably our most productive uh, of the two that I, I probably see playing right away is Colin Smith and, and uh, Malik Dia. Uh, they, they've done some really good things. They, Especially on the defensive end with, with Colin, he's, he's been great all around. Malik is, you know, a special talent. You know, offensively right now has the ability to really be a, a really good defender as well. Uh, but they're playing behind Jordan Wright and and, um, and Miles Miles Stoop. So, uh, but you know, it definitely helps to have that competition and, and, and make sure that everybody's uh, leash isn't too long. You know, and I think that that's a good thing for for a coach to have. So. Uh, but, I, I, but but they they have done well. Noah Shelby, uh, he shoots the basketball really well. Again, I don't know where there's a lot of time for him right now, just because of the depth that we have with Ezra and Tyron and, and, and Trey. Those guys are going to get the first knives at it. That's kind of our hierarchy and how we go about it. But uh, every day is is competitive. Every day is competition, and those guys are going to have opportunity to, to earn themselves some minutes. I trust them. I, I trust. Them. I feel like I could put them in the game if I need to. But again, we're, we're going we're gonna to go with our older, more experienced guys. And we've been talking about that for a couple of years and finally getting to the point where we have that type of group, uh, you know, kind of core group of, of six guys that's been in the program for you know, two and, and most of them three years. So, uh, and, and really excited about our, you know, the, the, our newcomers, our transfers, um, Ezra and, and Emmanuel. Those guys have come in and uh, really you know, had a seamless transition to, to who we are and, and how we want to go about our business. So I anticipate those guys getting an you know, a, a early nod, maybe even more so than, than, than some of our freshmen. Yeah, Emmanuel coming in kind of late. Uh, like, do you see him playing mostly the four, the three, and, and you know, how's he been doing? I, I just think we got some versatility there. I mean, he's, he can play both spots. He can play the three, he can play the four really good out on the perimeter guard. You know, probably a little easier to learn um, our sets and stuff from the four, but you know, he's again, like I said, he's been doing a really good job. Um, it's hard to, you know, once you put him in the game, it's hard to take him out. So I mean, that's that's a, that's a, that's a good problem to have. But again, it's just uh, hopefully he comes in and continues to to progress with the, with the same uh, pace that he has so far. But uh, it's been good. It just gives us a, an opportunity to go a few different ways. With, with our lineups, and, 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 and more so importantly, I think, like I said before, it helps us to withstand any type of, you know, minor injury that we have or foul trouble. I feel really confident that, that, that we have quality depth that we can, that those guys can step in and do some good things for us. You guys faced uh, Kendrick Davis when he's at SMU. How do you prepare for a guy like that on a team? Well, I mean, we prepare for for, for 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 the Memphis Tigers. You know, not try to prepare for one, but we're very aware. Of him when we played him in SCU, I mean, at SMU, we know that he's a, you know, a big talent um, in, in, in a small package, you know, similar to, to how we see um, Ezra. You know, a lot of quickness, uh, ability to, to get in the paint and do some different things. A really good point guard, but uh, again, we're, we're going to focus on how we need to handle them as a group, and I'm pretty sure that we will pay some special attention to, to, to his special talents, but um, it's you know, Vandy against Memphis. It looks like Keontae Kennedy is obviously going to play for them. But what what happened there? I don't think anybody knows. It's not for everybody to know. So, mm -hmm. but, I, but I think we're, um, we're we're happy for Keontae that he was able to f find a situation that that, that that made a lot of sense for him, and, and we're happy with the pieces that we have. Coach, uh, fans at the last at the end of last year's good uh, crowds and stuff. What are you expecting from the crowd? Uh, uh, I mean, I'm expecting a big crowd. I think there's a lot of excitement from, uh, you know, from, from everywhere, from, from the city, just in general. And I'm, I'm about everybody saying we're going to be there on the 7th. We're going to be there, there on the 7th. I hope it's not just for the Memphis game. I hope we'll be able to see them here all, all year. And, and I think so. It's a lot of excitement about, about what we're building and, and how, we, how we built it. And just uh, I think there's some familiarity with this group now. It's good when you got guys on your roster that, that, that our fans can – can relate to and identify to. I mean, Jordan Wright, Quentin Millar Brown, those guys have been around. And that's what you that's what you want in college basketball. You want, you know, people that you can identify and you can cheer for and we have that now and, and we're looking forward to uh, continuing to, 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 to put a you know a 
Um, yeah, I think this is, I mean, as far as just our fan base, we want to continue to grow our fan base. I mean, I think this is, I mean, there's a lot, so many people moving into this city. Uh, at the same time, I think we can you know, really, really market to this being a bit great family outing. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think of some ways that I can create. I mean, you can show me that you come to uh, five or ten games this year and, and take a picture of your family the whole time. I might let two kids come to camp free. I mean, I'm, 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 my wheels are turning, you know what I'm saying, just to make sure that we know that this is one of the best you know, tickets in town. It's not, not, not expensive. You know, again, I'm have you know, more conversations with, 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 with Dr. Lee and uh, Chancellor Deermeyer, man. I, like, let's, let's cut these tickets, man. Let's do all we can to get these folks in, in these seats and let them know that this is one of the best environments, one of the best experiences you can have um, in, in this city for, for an affordable price and you're going to see high level basketball. So we're excited about that.